and steady there. Okay, let me, let me double check. When he clears, that's the one you want. The far ram to the right. Here's, can you see through, are you shooting through a choya? Okay, when you're ready. What's that? No, 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 no. The one that is to the okay, the, the second one to the the one that's in the clear that's walking right now. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We have one ram, the farthest ram to the right. Okay, not that one. The next one to the left, do you see him? Yep. He's walking right now. Do, are you clear? Do, are you clear to shoot him or does he need to walk? I'm good. Okay, that's the one. The second one from the right. Wait till he turns his head so you don't hit a horn, okay? On the second one from the right, right? Correct. He's quartering to us. Yep. Head up. Okay. Yep. When you're ready. I think you hit him back a little bit. But that's alright, he's not going anywhere. He's down. He's not going anywhere. Hold on. What'd you do, Jim? Got my ram. 31 years of waiting. Oh, pick, is me. pick him up there for us. Prop him up a little bit. Chamber's empty. Holy smokes, he's heavy. <laughs> he's got to be 16 inches around the bases. Well, that was a pretty neat deal. We were watching six six rams trying to figure out which one was the best, and then what happened? And this guy and his twin brother, they just they just joined their the herd from out of nowhere we we had seen an extra ram earlier in the day but lost him this herd kept having six and seven then six and seven and anyways it turned out to have eight and this was either number seven or number eight because they were the biggest the, the oldest of the bunch lee uh picked this one out for me and told me to shoot this one, so that's what we did. I am more than thrilled.